you know, this is a sports comedy show. Uh, sports and comedy, two fields dominated by women usually. In, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the opposite of what I just said. <laughs> Basically, we recognize it gets testosterone heavy in here a, a few times. I think the woman at this table is getting a little upset. I've noticed her, her scowls throughout the show and the texting that's currently happening. Might be indicative of that. <laughs> Continue to ignore it. Doesn't even know she's being talked about. That's right, you. It's okay, you just proved my point. Just for my point. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry because we, we recognize this. That there's a lot of testosterone, a lot of men. There's a, a ton of dudes here. Ton of dudes up in here. <laughs> a lot of male performers. We want to diversify among all the genders. That's why we have, uh, we're very proud to bring this next guest out. She's a lady. She's already been introduced by Fitz. She's already been introduced though, so we may as well just bring her out. Uh, I mean, guys, I don't know if you, this is, we're talking, this is a very sexy lady we're talking about here. <laughs> okay, very super fine, beautiful lady. Uh, FSU cowgirl, uh, Maxim Magazine, Playboy Magazine. E! Entertainment Television's hottest women of the web. I'm getting hot just talking about her. Let's bring her out. Jen Sturger, the beautiful Jen Sturger. She's my terrified. <laughs> Jen. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> Jen Sturger. I, I, uh, I don't have a problem admitting right off the bat that I've always fantasized about meeting you, and here you are, right on the show, I can't believe it. I, uh, I have fantasized about vastly more than meeting you. Whoa, hey oh, watch out now. Now, uh, <laughs> for those of you not familiar with Jen's uh, body of work, <laughs> body being the operative word, uh, was she, let's say, Florida State University, Miami University football game, that's where we got discovered, uh, you're on TV. Can we have a clip? I think we have a, you're a student at Florida State? You were, that is correct. Yeah, I think we have a clip of this. Can we show what, what happened here? Uh, Florida State Miami football game. It was 2005. Yeah. 1,500 red blooded Americans just decided to apply to Florida State. Take a breather. Yeah, indeed, uh, Jack. Yeah. Uh, Florida State will take this, uh, Gary, and uh, looking down the road. Oh, I yeah. Oh, yeah. I, looking good. I, for one, now have a semi knoll. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Some grainy footage, but hot nonetheless. Jen, uh, what, what, what were you? You got picked out of the crowd by a cameraman, and Brent Musburger made that remark about you. And uh, guys, really, I'm, I'm just trying to move on from all this. You know, when I saw myself on TV, dressed in the cowboy hat and the bikini top, like a brainless skank in front of millions of people, I just decided I needed to make some real changes in my life. So, you know, I put away the skanky outfits, and I was like, I'm gonna focus on my academics. So I went to Williams College, where I graduated with a double major in political economics and Williams uh, gender studies. Wow. And then uh, you posed for Playboy, right? Can we get those pictures up here? Uh, <laughs> those pictures of Playboy, can we get those going here? Uh, let's see, uh, what do we got? Come on, is there something? <laughs> hey -o. Oh, yeah. Nice, as the Nice Brothers would say. Nice. I, uh, I like that. What was that like, being a Playboy? I mean, How is heck? Yeah. I've always wondered about, like, did you ever think about being a girl next door? Guys, really, I'm trying to move away from all this. I'm actually the director of the Stop Arms to Sedan campaign, which seeks to move weapons out of Darfur. It's really, you know, a, a cause that I'm really passionate about. Wow. It's that critical in solving this humanitarian disaster. Don't you guys care about anything other than tits and ass? Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite impressive. Uh, <laughs> What's it like being one of the hottest internet celebrities? <laughs> You've been on TV, right? Like, that's cool. Guys, I would much rather talk about my causes. Don't you care about Darfur? The weapons transfers? Did you know that China is actually the leading provider of small arms ammunition since 2004? Mm, that sounds terrible. But what about your boobs? Can you show us your boobs? You know what, really? I've had enough of this. Sweetheart. Guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt your show. Have a great night, fellas, okay? I Jen, can you leave your boots? Come on, baby. <laughs> wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Fellas, come on. Guys. 
Seriously, guys. You guys have no class. This is a lovely lady. Yeah, here. this is not how you talk to a lady. Who the fuck are these guys? You can't just ask to see a woman's boobs. No, you gotta work your way up to that. You have to sweet her up. Ask the right questions. No, we know how to talk to the ladies. You guys are about to learn from the best. We're yeah. gonna show you how to talk to a lady. For example, hello, how are you? What's your name? Hey, what do you do Jen. for a living? How much money do you make? What do you weigh? What's your goal weight? What's the after picture look like? Hey, do you have a boyfriend? What's your man gotta do with me? Heavy D and the boys. You like that reference? Are you flexible? Can you put your feet behind your head? Can you touch your elbows behind your back? Can I take a number two on your face? <laughs> some girls like that. Hey, some girls like that. You gotta ask. One out of a hundred girls likes it, and you happen to look like you like to get a big hot shit taken on your face. They like it in Cleveland. It's called the Cleveland Steamer, just like that guy said. You wanna see our Scotty Pippen impression? <laughs> Nice. You know, questions like that. That's how you talk to a lady. All right, all right, all right. Let's backtrack, all right? You were talking about you have a charity or something? Is it for the Sudan? Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that Sudan. sounds nice. Mm, nice. I'd like you to sit down on my lap. Yeah. <laughs> Sudan, Lee, I'm interested in hearing about this. Ooh, yeah. Yo, I drive a Sudan. You want to take a ride sometime? That sound good? I saw Dan Marino at the club the other night. Oh, nice. I like that. <laughs> These are Sudan puns, in case you guys didn't understand. <laughs> Yo, in case you guys didn't understand. Dan. Can I sue down your face? I think I would love that. I, like I, think, that. I think everybody in this room would love if you were to sit down on my Whoa, face. That just gave me an idea. You know what? We could help you make some money. Really? That'd we, be great. Yeah, come you come down to nice balls. You and, can dance uh, for us. Raise some money on the stage. Oh, like a dance marathon. Yeah, it's like a dance marathon. Yeah, it's like marathon. a dance marathon. Yeah, sort of like that. Like you can dance for as long as you like. And they'll continue to throw money People at you. People will literally throw money at you. <laughs> so you're interested. That yeah. sounds like a good deal? Sounds great. All right, let's go talk well, about it. Well, it looks like she's coming with us. Nice. Nice. Wow. Nice.